Anthony and I are on a boat headed to Alcatraz. We're about to take a spooky nighttime tour of the rock given by a former inmate. Motherfucker, you didn't tell me that. I got warrants. Hey, Michael Phelps, put that on. Where's your life, best George? I'm only 4% black. <laughs> you, know, are you all right? No. You see, sick? Yeah. Come on, put this on. Is this for seasickness? Yeah. It also means you're my property. Now hold on my pocket, bitch. Come on, Trick. Grab it. Oh, you little king. Yo, Ann. Yeah. Park Ranger told us we're not allowed to make any prison sex jokes on Alcatraz. Sensitive, man. No prison sex jokes. What? Then we're going to have to come up with some type of cold <laughs> word, man, because I'm not going to be able to control myself. I, I know, me too. <laughs> Congregate! <laughs> ah, ah, I'll hold your pocket. <laughs> hey, I'm gonna congregate later on. <laughs> Hi guys, hey. I'm Robert Luke, number 1118, prisoner here. And welcome to The Rock. All right. My watch is gone. Okay, guys, this is Broadway, and it's the main thoroughfare from the dining room over to the visiting windows. Uh, the CV cells are only about 15 feet apart, so you can see uh, there was no privacy at all. Hey, Bob, I, I have a question for yeah, you. Yeah, sure. Uh, when you were in prison, uh, did prisoners have to hold the dude's pocket like this? Hold the pocket? Yeah. No, I never was in prison like that. No. So back when you were in prison, uh, prisoners didn't have bitches per se. Well, sure, some of them did. Yeah. Oh, I'm trying to get out of it. <laughs> uh, any famous prisoners here while you were locked up? Well, the the Birdman was still here when I was here. Uh, Stroud. From Cash Money? Pardon me. Oh, no, no. <laughs> From the Nuggets. <laughs> He had his own cell, and they put a solid door on the outside, so he would be in solitary confinement. So, so he wasn't allowed to congregate? No, he didn't know to congregate. I'm sure he congregated with somebody. <laughs> well, they say one of the guards uh, played checkers on him at night. He congregated with one of the guards at night. Now, this, this overlooks, actually overlooks the yard. Where all the prisoners were congregating. <laughs> Yeah, well, they were congregate. Yeah, you like that word, don't you? Yeah. That's a prison word, though, isn't it? Congregate? Well, what, what do you mean by congregate? Get together? Get together, right? <laughs> Get together. I've been thinking, Bob. So, Bob, how do you think Anthony and I would do as prisoners? Oh, I don't know. Why don't you get in those cells there and find out? Hey, neighbor. Yo. Hey, you know what that means, right? What does that mean? You my bitch. <laughs> oh. I'm gonna get out of here. All right, I'm out. Rack em. <laughs> Woo. Man, that was, that was. Uh, we said rack em. What do you do? I play golf. Oh, hey. George and I, we play golf. Sounds good. All right, Bob, let's see it. All right. 
all I want. My man's got to go to the bathroom. Is there one around here? Oh, yeah, there's one right down here in the dungeon. Knock yourself out. You got to go that bad? I got to go. Come on. Okay, guys, that's the, the tour about ending. The first day you come in here, you have a long, lonely walk down Broadway. So why don't you see what it's like and take a walk down here? Everybody looking at you. Go ahead, and I'll see you in a little while. Welcome to the Rock, new meat. Ooh, looks like it's ladies' day. I like that bracelet, pumpkin. I want my mama. Fresh chorizo. I'll have some dark meat. Tenso the carne asada. Fart in the black and tan. Fresh meat. I'm gonna make you my bitch, see? You can never do nothing? I can think of something. <laughs> Hello, would you like to smell my farts? Hey, Lopez. Let's say you and I bring the party back to late night. You know what I mean? Fuck your stomach, Pablo. Fresh meat. <laughs> There's one more thing I want to do to my friend Anthony on Alcatraz. Leave him here. I didn't hear from Anthony for a long time. I just assume he died on the rock or tried to swim. No, never mind. Then I got a postcard that said, I hope this letter finds you and finds you well, so I can kill you. Your friend Anthony. Don't you run, you brown whore motherfucker! <laughs> <laughs> 